Okay, so now I'm going to set up another TR, hit return triple times. And this is just uh, our products now. So I'm going to use our Apple. Or this is just a demonstration, you can put whatever you want in. And then in the same one, which you can do TD again. And this is where we're going to call up our Apple image. So we're going to use the image source tag, which is image or IMG SRC equals. And then this is the reason why I said keep everything in the same folder. So now we can, since we're using the same um, site, we can just, same folder, sorry, we can just keep it. We don't have to put the full URL, the full path to it. We can just um, leave everything the way it is. Leave it like that, which means that it'll just look in the same folder. So test site. What you can't see here is it says test site. The, oh, sorry, the browser will recognize it as test site. Then it'll be slash images slash a dot diff. Okay, so now I want to set our alt. So if the image doesn't show, what alternate text will show? I want to set our title. So when you hover over it, or read it the tooltip rather, this is set as Apple as well. Okay. Now also we want to, since this will probably be a hyperlink a little bit later on, we need to set border to zero, so there'll be no border around it. We also want to set widths as well. Because sometimes you know you can get different images. Um. Sorry about that. Just to pause the video. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes you can get um, different images. So we want to make sure that the browser sets the same image for each. Sets the same um, height and width for each one, which is done from the width and height tab. So we set that to 150 by 150 pixels. Just scroll down. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set our price. So we need a new TD, and this will um, use the price field or the price table, price column rather. Um, so let's say we have let's do one pound fifty. Bit harsh for an apple I know, but hit it returns. Now we use our ahref, and we'll just send this to apple dot html. Oops. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And basically, this is going to set take us to our apple.html page, and we can put click here to not click here for more info. Okay, so there's the um, price section done. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to move on to the banana section. So outside of the TR, I'm going to create a new TR tag. Hit return just once. And start by giving it a product name, which is banana. And the same again. Image. And you make sure you do it in the same order. If we do it, we do it in a different order, it won't display to the uh, way that we have above. So it will, if, we do, if we was to do um, name, price, image, the header would still say product um, image price <coughs> but the banana would display as product price image which obviously wouldn't look right so we're then images slash b dot diff Oops. and then alt the alternate text which is banana the title which is banana The height, which is 150. And then again, just to finish it off, I'll put the price as let's do 50 pence for this one. Okay, and then again, just to put a, a line break in. Now you don't have to hit enter like this. The only reason I've hit enter there is because uh, the only reason I've done down to another line, you know, I could have just typed it here. I type any text that I wanted here. But you know it just makes things easier when you're looking back through it. If there's any errors you can see what they are. 
And also, you know, I tried to t actually type the whole thing in just one line, but it makes things difficult to read through. So, um, ahref equals Um, click here for more info. Okay, now we can save this and oh, let's just make sure we do our last loading times. Slash table slash body slash HTML. Yep. Okay, we're going to save this in test site. I wish to save it as index.html. So I just should have asked this. Oh, we saved it as index.html. HTML. It just doesn't really matter, but since we're going to be dealing with HTML files, I'm going to say this is a HTML file. .html. Is there me to replace it? Yes. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so as you can see, we have our um, test shop up here in the heading tab. Then we have shop items. We have our table, product, um, price. I, don't, I hope you can see all that there. Yeah, you should be able to. We have our product our image and then our price and if we click for more info as you can see it takes us to um, let me just show you what it takes us to down here it will take us to desktop forward slash test site forward slash banana .html, which is what we want okay so now we're going to work on um, the next part of our um, web test shop which would be just making these images, what if you will click these? So I'll just open up our PHP designer, let's move this back up. So, as you can see here we have our image. What we're just going to do is, just around this tab, we're going to set a anchor, or a link, a hyperlink, to the same page that we had before, which is apple.html. And then where we normally put text, as I did down here, where it says click here for more info, we can replace the text with our image tag, and then over this side we're going to end our uh, tag. And then we're going to do the same for banana. A H ref. Oops, banana. Dot HTML. And then end that tag. Save it. Refresh our page. You see, nothing actually happens. However, now when I hover over it, we get a little tool tip there. This is Apple, and we have that um, hyperlink cursor which will take us to apple.html, which can't be found. So we haven't made it yet. And the same with banana. So everything seems to be okay. So in the next part, we'll work on setting up our um, Apple and banana shop.